My last name is too difficult. My last name is Sheikh Lislamova. Everybody thinks it's a joke, <laughs> but it's not. It's my last name. I'm growing up uh, in South Ural. It's far from Moscow. It's like two days by train and two hours by plane. It's named Yemanjulinsk. I love cakes and Russian food. My favorite, I love uh, tomato mozzarella, but it's Italian. Actually, I love hip hop and R&B. My favorite song, it's Russian song. Полюбила я котенка, а котенок был ничей. У меня есть папа с мамой, но он совсем ничей. That's it. Hey, my name is Irina and I'm from Russia. <laughs> We're doing Sports Illustrated. Uh, we are in Tucson, in Arizona, and it's very nice weather here. We're on Big Big Ranch with uh, very nice horses. Day three at Whitestein Ranch, and we have a new model this year. Her name is Irina, and she is from Moscow, Russia. So today is our third shot with her, and she's doing incredible. Despite getting in here a little late and having lost all her luggage, she's in phenomenal spirits, and she's just a wonderful addition for us this year. My first time, I'm so happy to do Sports Illustrated because it's a very nice uh, magazine and I love to do a swimming suit. The suits, especially for her, we really picked more boudoir inspired, a lot of push-up bras, a lot of lace, much more demure. We try to find suits that would bring out her personality in the pictures. Which is we should wear a nice swimming suit. It was very fashion and nice color. I love it. And I feel sexy. <laughs> We did here uh, with a guitar, and after I signed on the guitar, it was so funny. It's my name and last name, with love from Russia. <laughs> I like it so much. It's a very great team. I had fun, and uh, I hope everybody gonna like these pictures. Arena, we heard you're quite a performer. What's your calling card? I'm a pianist, but my true love is the art of ventriloquism. I'm just free from Moscow and I'm so hungry. Are you hungry, Vladimir? No, so I'm not hungry. I'm stuffed. <coughs> I'm so sad ventriloquism is not respected, so I have to find a new job. Ventriloquist supermodel. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, baby. Wow. Hold on, hold on. I want to rock and roll. roll. It's my hometown. Everybody rushing around, speak Russian. You can eat Russian food. It's make you more comfortable, you know, for the shooting. Give me that stuff, give me all your love. Give me what you got tonight. you and me, I'm set to free. Gonna let it ride. When you see the pictures, it's like it feels like wow, it's Russia because it's so so nice. Hey, I'm Irina. We're doing the Sport Illustrated 2008, and we're here in the St. Petersburg. We did shooting in Grand Hotel. It was a room and it was very casual. It's not like posing and all the stuff. It's like cleaning a bed, eating the cover, you know, it's like typical Russian. 
picture is very, very sexy and I love the necklace because it's, it's diamonds, I love diamonds. <laughs> It was so beautiful. W what else I like about that shoot? Because we had like five beautiful Russian bodyguards. They all the time was watching for diamonds. I mean, not just for diamonds. <laughs> so it was very, very nice. I had fun. How I start modeling, it's so funny because when I finished music school, I was like, wow, what I can do, you know? And my sister told me like, oh, let's go to the um, some school for styling and like, you know how to cut your hair. And it was the model school as well. So yeah, and one manager find me. That's why we came to St. Petersburg. Okay, goodbye from Russia. Do свидания. Hey, I'm naked on the beach. <laughs> That's my first time to play painting and it's incredible, I love it. The team who does the body painting for me, they have really great energy. It's like unbelievable how they can do it. Now, since it's my first time for body painting, I love body painting. <laughs> Okay, we're here in the middle of the city and we're gonna try to shoot on this big line but the problem we don't have permit for that so let's see if we can do it and if the police not coming and catch us <laughs>
worth a shot? Yes, it was crazy. I had like 100 fans and I'm all wet, but for sure we got beautiful pictures. Sporting Strait 2010. It's really lifestyle. Hanging around in the swimsuit, you know, be yourself, you know, don't model. It was very real, this shot on the bed with the swimwear, you know, because it was early in the morning, I was so tired and want to sleep. And it was more real because, <laughs> you know, I feel so sleepy and I was like in the bed with the swimwear. I'm like, yeah, I love it. It's real. <laughs> Actually, I've never been to Chile, but I, it's unbelievable because you think like, wow, you're on another planet because the um, color of the ground is go from red to white to dark. It looks just like someone paint them, you know, it's like very unreal. It's very beautiful. Actually, it's my fourth year. Woohoo! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's very excited, not only to be in, you know, in the magazine, it's like, you know, because you travel, you're, you know, it's like, it's such a fun to work for Sports Illustrated because it's like, it's, I don't feel like it's a job. Like every time it's like surprise, you know? And that's what about Sport Australia too, because very, you know, I feel like holidays. I'm on holidays actually cheating, so I'm like it. <laughs> Every woman is so beautiful. And for me, beauty, it's not about just outside, you know, it's about inside beauty. 
it's about your character, it's about everything all together. happy that you know keep working with these guys and you know just it's just pleasure and of course it's nice to see yourself in Sports Illustrated magazine every year. So here we're doing like a natural marble beauty so it's more about playful but still like you know strong pose and like you know, just be yourself and be natural and be beautiful. And I love to do bikini shot because, you know, to shoot for Sports Illustrated is always great, you know. It's very recognizable magazine all over the world and it's coming out just once a year so I think everybody's so excited and going to buy some magazines and hopefully the guys like the picture. Hi, I'm Irina Shape. Well, it's my fifth year to do Sport Illustrated, and uh, it's my first year to do Swim to the Shoe on the Beach. You know, uh, when I look back to 2007, you know, which is, was my first year, and I was like, oh my god, it's so crazy because I'm becoming not more recognizable all over the world, I'm becoming more myself. Everything goes up with Sports Illustrated. You know, you're practicing your English, you see the world from different sides, you travel, you meet great people, you know. It's just like, you know, great experience for the life. you come into the shoe and you just have to be yourself. You know, it's not about posing, it's not about to trying to be sexy, it's all about you, it's all about personality. You know, to work with the Sport Illustrated, I think even if they're gonna fly to the moon to shoot it, like, it would be pleasure. We're here in the Philippines and I had almost 40 hours flight. As I arrived, everybody was so happy that I made it finally, because it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's paradise. First of all, you know, for me it's very important to have some relationship with the photographer like Rafael Mazuka. It's easy, it's about yourself, it's like any location we want to, it's a great light. It's just fun. My favorite picture so far is the pictures that we did with the sunset. It's so beautiful. You know, sky turning to like yellow and pink and red and it stays for so long, you know, it doesn't the sun doesn't go down very fast. The colors for the swimsuits, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite colors because it has a lot of green and like light blue, light green, and my favorite color is green. It's the color of my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, definitely it was worth it to travel here because it's now a kind of style of life, you know, like it's blue water, it's white sand, you know, it's warm people, it's amazing food, it's quiet. Oh, I wish I just can live here forever. <laughs>
went to this beautiful, amazing dish, which is very rare in Africa. And we saw in the middle of the river a crocodile. Africa is amazing, but scary at the same time. I had like three or four shots with the cheetahs. I love them and the picture looks so beautiful, but I was so scared. When the people gonna see a picture of me with the cheetah, they're gonna think it's Photoshop. But trust me, for Sports Illustrated, we don't do Photoshop. It was the real cheetah, and it was not only one cheetah, it was three cheetahs. It was the scariest group shot in my life. Victoria Falls is amazing, and I heard a lot of things about them, but when I saw them, it's like a breathtaking. I would never think I would go and see it one of the seven wonders in the world. I'm really gonna miss Zambia. It's a really great and amazing location and we made the best pictures ever. Hi, I'm Marina Sheik. We are in Spain, in Sevilla, and it's a very beautiful city. Architectures, the people, the culture, you know, everything is amazing about Spain. So the first day we shot in Hacienda, surrounded by trees and beautiful flowers, and the birds and the horses around and even the architecture side is just amazing. And of course, to shoot in Spain, we have to capture a best moment, so we have to go to the bull ring. And the bull ring is very old, it's 200 years old. The place was just so magic that we want to just bring to the people the best from that place. I was working with three very famous Spanish matadors who was really, really nice, and basically they showed me some tricks how to fight with the bulls, so it was a really fun day. We were shooting in the horse ring, and I have to shoot with the dancing horses. When I got in the ring and I saw what they actually able to do, it's just unbelievable. Favorite shot was standing in the middle of the ring holding the whip and this beautiful white horse was jumping just right behind me. She was standing up on her two legs and um, it's, it's just unbelievable what they can do. And um, I was doing my best because I was really want to make sure that my pose would be better than hers. So it was kind of a competition. You know, for Sports Illustrated, you do a crazy stuff. At the end of the day, you get the most amazing picture that all the people are gonna see in the magazine. So it's really worth it.
to work with Sports Illustrated. This is my eighth year and I'm very happy to be part of Swimsuit Issue for so many years because Sports Illustrated brings me to crazy locations starting from Tucson, Arizona to Zambia and this year Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue brings me to beautiful Madagascar. We're here in Nosibi. It's beautiful and we're just trying to bring peace of life from Madagascar to show all the viewers. I shot with the ladies with the baskets on the head. They're so beautiful and they have their faces painted. I think it's very cool that I shot with those ladies because we want the viewers for Sports Illustrated to see the culture side. My favorite swimsuit that was shot was this beautiful mat that was super sexy and very sheer. And we were shooting while we had a beautiful sunset. And when I saw the picture, it just looked like a mermaid got washed out in a beautiful white sand. This is the first time I shot in a sandbar, beautiful clear blue water on both sides. And the sunset was just amazing. And we capture amazing shots and I hope you're gonna enjoy it, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 2014! 
my dog is car. Well, yesterday I shot with a new animal that I discovered for myself, and it was Zubo. Zibo. Zabo. <laughs> Zibo is a very lovely animal with one horn in the back. One horn? <laughs> horn? No, it's not a horn. It's <laughs> Zibo is a very lovely animal with a little hump. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Okay, now it's my birthday song for Sports Illustrated 50th anniversary. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday to you! I love you, Sports Illustrated! This year, 2015, we're here in Kauai and it's known for beautiful sand and amazing beaches. But we catch this funny weather, it was raining, so we have to ride a car and try to chase the sun. So finally, we spend this morning chasing the sun and we're here in this beautiful beach. Oh, bye, sports is red, I gotta go. I do some business here. Yes! Nice! That's so nice! That's so and nice. the pictures turned out to be so beautiful because this black sand was reflecting so beautifully on the skin and the water. Everything just worked together. I love you, Tsai, because I feel very comfortable that I can suggest something and he just loves it. Amazing. Something changed inside of me. He always very loud, which I love because sometimes we have wake up call at 6 a.m. and you're falling asleep. But once you see you say it's basically like your second alarm clock. So 
It's very refreshing. You make me feel everything. I love all the shots, but my favorite is the one that I was in the rocks, and it just perfect shot when the wave came in. And you know what? Pictures turn out to be so beautiful. Paradise in Bora Bora for Sports Hoster Swim to the Shoe 2016. Get ready. First day, we shot in this beautiful island, Motu Island. Beautiful. And this island felt so special because it was like a tiny piece of land in the middle of ocean surrounded by this crystal blue water. I love it. When we shot here, we got the most beautiful picture, and I was like, wow, that's, that feels really special. Well, that day goes perfect until MJ told me that actually we're taking a little boat ride and we're going to visit the sharks and stingrays. Yutsai wants to bring something special to every shoot. He was like, I want to do the special picture underwater camera, so half of your body will be inside the water with shark and stingrays, and half of your body will be outside the water. And he's like, can you do it? And I was like, okay, forever. Ready, the sharks are coming, here we go. There it is. Being in the water with rays and the sharks was an incredible experience. I loved it so much, and the picture from that location to now it's so beautiful. This is my 10th year of doing Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. They were the one who discovered me back in 2007 and um, they brought me to Tucson, Arizona and um, you know, then they just couldn't get rid of me for 10 years and <laughs> here we go in Bora Bora after 10 years. Gorgeous, flirty, a little good. Beautiful. Sports Illustrated Love. loves to put me in some crazy locations, you know, like Zambia with cheetahs and Spain shooting with horses. And 
every year I want to do better and better pictures and every year um, once the magazine comes out I'm so happy because you know I, I can push myself to do better. I'm so grateful and happy that I got my cover on my fifth year in 2011 and then never even for a split second thought that they can put a Russian girl from the village on the cover of the biggest magazine and I'm so grateful. So every year when I come back, I just love to be here. I love to shoot with sports suits. Beautiful. Sports suits. Love. And every year, this time of the year, gives me a lot of happiness and excitement because Sports Illustrated Swimsuit is my family. Congratulations, you are number 10, you did 